Hey guys, what is going on today? We are back inside the car here. Remember what I told you guys? We're actually going to be doing a few different things here and over the next couple uh, weeks I'm going to be putting up some Wednesday videos here where I normally might do an unboxing or stuff like that and uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a uh, car maintenance and uh, repair and restoration on it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually record this today showing uh, the tint that needs to be redone now. You guys have always known I've had tint in this car. That's no brainer. It's 5% Lumar uh, window tint. A lot of you guys are man. I wish I could have that in my state do you ever get pulled over with it I've got pulled over with it three times in Georgia and one time in uh, South Florida in Fort Pierce Florida uh, the three times in Georgia as soon as they saw that I was uh, from Florida they let me go no problem at all so guys don't sweat it especially if you're from Florida and it's just flipping hot they don't care Floridians don't care I've lived in I've had three or four cars now with 5% limo tint and uh, nobody cares uh, the only time I got stopped in Florida was uh, uh, in Fort Pierce, it's a big actual uh, cop trap area. It's right at the edge of the turnpike and the I-95 basically merge right there in South Florida. And so the cops or state troopers are horrible. They're only out to give tickets. And the guy pulled me over and he didn't give me any explanation of being pulled over. And then he just said, hey, your, tent is, your tent's too dark. You've been acting like you have drugs on you and this like that. Well, he didn't even mention the tent. So uh, that was about the only time. They pulled me out of the car and did all this other stuff and asked me about it. And then he figured out when I didn't have any tickets, I don't have anything on my record. He decided, well, I'm just going to give you a ticket for 10. And he never mentioned tint one time in the stop. So that's the only time I've ever had a ticket for it and here in Florida. But I want to show you how bad things are here. I'm going to go ahead and spin the camera around. Can you see it up here? This is all coming apart here. Down here is bad. Uh, along the window through here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It looks kind of grainy through here. Uh, the back window is back there. It's starting to peel back. And, of course, the rear deck window is really bad through there. So what we're going to be doing here is uh, it's going to get dropped off here and uh, well they're going to be doing the stereo and all new wires and the stereo and stuff well they were actually going to be doing um, uh, new 5% Limar tint all around the whole car and as well as I'm going to put air blue here on the front windshield here and what that does is help cuts down a lot of heat it's 80% darkness so it's basically clear it's kind of like my, my 370Z has it's clear and uh, it cuts down so much of the heat that enters the car especially for us here in the south where it's just burning up all the time so these are the things going to be done step by step i figured i'd go ahead and bring you along for it show you how bad it is now and then what it's going to look like at the end so there you go guys and i know a lot of you guys saying oh if it's five percent too dark you can't see out of it look can you can you see out of the car <laughs> it's easy to see out of five percent people flip out oh man you can't see out of it see there's without the tent there's with the tent See what I mean? It's no big deal. Only at night is there any problem, but just roll your windows down. So, there you go, guys. Step by step, that's the first thing we're going to be doing. So, I'll uh, see you after uh, if we get the tint done on there, and I'll show you what it looks like then. See ya. Hey guys, welcome back. Here comes part two of Operation Honda Prelude Restoration. Guys, what I just had done over the weekend, well, it's actually taken two days to get this done, is voila, the tint is now done on it. The whole car is 5% Lumar. Uh, tint. I have 80%, it's called air blue, it's 80% clear, so it's basically clear anyways, to the whole windshield, same as I did on my 370Z, but what I have to do is I have to wait now a week to actually have the 5% uh, sun visor strip up top here installed here. So what I'll do is I'm going to take you uh, up off it and actually show you what it looks like from the inside. It's slow, it's so much better now, I'm like, oh my god. Uh, also at the same time the stereo was actually done, but Come to find out we got some problems with the stereo, so that's going to cost even more money, but I'm telling you, uh, you'll see that in a separate video because it's not quite done yet. They're going to put the covers and stuff on it in order to fully close back in the, the sub box and the amp rack and make it look uh, pretty and clean again. So uh, that was being done, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you that another week down the road here. But I wanted to show you the tint. The tint looks a thousand times better. It's so nice. And let me tell you, in Florida, having a limo black tint makes a big difference. And guys, I highly recommend it. It keeps so much heat out. The air blue also keeps 100% of that, all that heat and nasty junk out. I mean, it makes a huge difference from a car that doesn't have a tent. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it off uh, the tripod here, and I'll go inside, back inside the car, and I'll show you what it looks like now, where you can actually see how clear it is, of course, during the day, because everybody always does that certain, you know, oh, you can't see at night and all that stuff. And at night, yeah, that's fine, if you're trying to back up, but uh, the car usually goes forward, right? So why do I need to see the back? And then on top of that, if you need to go back up, you always just lower the window, so. These are questions I get all the time on some of my videos from like 370Z and stuff like that about tin and whatnot. So there you go. I hope that answered it for you. So let me go ahead and uh, pop the camera off now. I'll take you back inside the car, show you what we're at in there. And uh, that's part two. Uh, it's being done. I also talked to the Honda guy today about um, uh, the five-speed swap. So we're trying to work out uh, how much it's going to cost and uh, labor-wise and stuff like that to actually have it done. So 
that's where we're at, and hopefully we can get that done next month or two. But stereo should be done hopefully into next week because they had to schedule me in to get the strip done, and I said, well, then just worry about this finish the stereo then. So that's where we're at, guys. I'll see you in a second inside the car. All right, guys, welcome back. We're obviously inside the car. I have the car running right now because it's so blatantly, ridiculously hot outside. It's in the 90s here in Florida with ridiculous amounts of humidity, so I don't want to be sitting in a hot car. Even though it has a tin on, it's still blazingly hot. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'll show you around the car really quick. As you can already see, everything looks a lot cleaner. I'll go ahead and flip it around. Um, the front end, uh, don't worry about all the dirtiness of it. They told me I needed to leave it out in the sun for, you know, four days or whatever. Let it go ahead and dry properly. So it's getting dirty from just being outside. But you can sell the clear blue. Air blue is actually pretty flipping clear. It's only 80%. So you can see right through it. It's so like normal car. You wouldn't know the difference. So, but uh, this will greatly take a lot of the heat out like it does on the sides. And then, of course, up top here, I'll still have my 5% uh, strip across it. But they have to let it set for a couple days. They said about five days is what they like to do it and then I just come back and within 20 minutes I cut that strip out and put it across the top there you know what I mean uh, the sides of the windows you can tell are much much cleaner and here you go once again like I said you can easily see out of 5% uh, limo I mean it's it's absolutely no big deal at all everybody always says well you can't see out of it look you can easily see out of a 5% tent car so you see all there remember back there was really bad and it was all peeling up we're all good to go again guys all the sides look clean again I can't roll the windows down, they said, you know, for another three days or so, so I'm leaving it out here in the sun. I usually wait about five days to make sure, like I left the Z outside for five days when I got done, because I want it done properly, and I really don't uh, want to have any issues with bubbling or anything like that, so I just try and do everything a little bit more than I need to do it, just to make sure we're okay. But uh, Operation Honda Prelude Restoration Part 2 is now uh, complete. Uh, like I said, the stereo is going to get done. I'll just give you a sneak peek of the stereo. It is one badass double din head unit. This thing can do everything, but I'm not going to talk about it. You have Bluetooth, hands-free speaking. You can use your SD cards. I can watch movies on it. I mean, this thing does everything that you can imagine on it. It has to take SD cards. I can plug my phone into it, the whole nine yards. But we're not even going to talk about that. That's going to be a whole other video in it of the restoration process. It's going to be part of the stereo. But um, on top of that, like I said, um, I went and talked to the guy about the actual uh, installing the five-speed swap today. Uh, he said he's going to have to get back with me and if he has the time to get it in. I talked to another guy in the Florida community. He's kind of sketch on being able to get me in right now. So I said, dude, you can do it in a month or two. I don't care. So that's where we're at right now with Operation Honda, Prelude Restoration. And uh, we'll see how that goes. It could be in two or three months. That's fine. Right now we're just working on the tent, the stereo, and then uh, obviously five-speed swap. And then it's actually going to go in for the full paint job and rust removal and stuff. Probably sometime closer to the winter, maybe November or something like that. I want to have it done absolutely right now totally willing to spend the two thousand dollars whatever it's going to take and uh that's what we're looking at right now i might even put the original stock um oem around the corners uh body kit you know just a little bit of a plastic instead of having the, the black line across the bottom it actually is body colored uh, there'll be electron blue pearl and it'll make it look a little bit nicer so that's where we're at right now it's just gonna be a little bit of time hey uh, these were the easy steps right here the cheap steps now well i'm not gonna lie with the head unit everything so far it's cost it was about $1,100 for the stereo system alone. <laughs> so a little bit expensive for everything to get done on Saturday and uh, Monday. I picked it up Monday. So there we go, guys. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, a lot of you guys are actually liking this kind of stuff. I'm glad. I, To me, I'm just doing this for a historical thing, but you guys tend to uh, want to watch it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you maybe another week or so when the stereo is fully complete and has the amp rack covers and stuff on it and i'll show you that to it because they said the amps might be bad or the speakers are bad they got to go in there and test us what they're going to do next week so i'll see you then take care guys and thanks so much for watching later y'all